All right, today we're gonna to take a look at how to install the new LED flush light bar system from Oracle Lighting. This is gonna fit the Ram TRX and Rebel. And what's really unique about this product is rather than most light bars, which are just a metal bar with metal brackets, this actually is molded to take the same shape as the bumper, so it has a much more factory look. So before we get started with the installation, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we've got here. First thing is the actual light bar itself. It's got a protective uh, coating over it, which this comes off and shows what the actual light bar looks like. All right, and we also have a packet in here. This packet's going to include our instructions, uh, product registration card, uh, some decals, and our hardware as well. So uh, there's a few things in here. For one is the uh, rib nut installation tool, which we'll go over later. And we've got these black things that are basically uh, these little inserts that go to kind of close up that, that hole there. We've got our rib nuts, which are gonna be installed into the bumper surface, which will give us a threaded insert to be able to attach the light bar to. And then we have our actual hardware that we're gonna to use to attach the light bar itself to the bumper. So to do this installation, we're gonna need a 7 16 drill bit, a six millimeter Allen key, and a 14 millimeter open end wrench. All right, we're gonna take our wiring connector that comes from the light bar and run it up through here to this corner where the auxiliary switch leads are. So uh, you could use a fish stick or a coat hanger or something to kind of help guide the wire through here. Uh, sometimes you could just luck out and send it right where it needs to go. So we're just gonna connect the red wire here to whichever auxiliary cable that we're not already using. And we get, we're gonna go ahead and buck connect this, but if you wanna solder it or do some other type of uh, splicing to be able to connect these wires together, it's kind of up to you. And on the black wire, we're gonna ground it to this ground post right here. All right, so now we're actually ready to install the light bar. We're gonna start by plugging in the connector making sure it snaps in place. We're gonna push the cable back between the bumper and the grill and set the light bar in place. Now this is where you're probably gonna need an extra set of hands because we're gonna to wanna to push this against the grill. You can see there's a little bit of a gap here. And then when we push it against the grill, that gap closes up. So we're gonna make sure that we've got the light bar centered and then we push in to where the gap closes up and you have an even gap all the way around the light bar. We're gonna go ahead and mark those holes at that point. So now we have our hole mark. This is gonna be the center of our blind rivet here. In order to do that, we're gonna to need to drill a 7 16 inch hole. So uh, the bit's gonna be a little bit too big, so we're gonna start by drilling a pilot hole and then work our way up to the larger bit. So now we're ready to install our blind rivet. So we'll set that in place. The kit includes a tool like this that's going to compress this nut. So we're just gonna go ahead and thread it in by hand initially. Then we're gonna take a six millimeter Allen key and then a 9 16 crescent wrench or 14 millimeter crescent wrench. And we're gonna go ahead and compress the fitting now. And we don't need to over torque this, but you will be able to feel when it's fully compressed. All right, so now that it's compressed, we can go ahead and back this out. And there you go. We've got our threaded insert now installed. Now we're gonna plug everything back in. And I'm gonna push this back behind here. And using the same six millimeter Allen wrench, we're just gonna go ahead and install the actual mounting hardware. With 
the light bar now tightened down, we can go ahead and start our little caps. And then we're ready to test the light bar. 